So we have a pretty busy day, <laughs> or at least pr first half of the day. Um, right now we're just chilling, but it was the first day of the 30 day challenge. So I actually made shakes for the whole family and actually worked out, which is insane because if and when I work out, it's never in the morning. So it's pretty neat that I got to do that. Um, the kids are doing some hooked on phonics and I was like, you know what, I have got to tell people how awesome Hooked on Phonics is because I know we've been hearing about Hooked on Phonics forever. Hooked on Phonics works for me and all that, but who has actually tried it or, or knows somebody that's tried it? And I'm going to tell you, I've tried it. We've been doing it for the last almost year now. And I mean, it's incredible. It really, truly is incredible. It gives you really practical tools to use to teach your kids to read and they understand and catch on, at least mine have, so well. My little one is only three and a half and he is reading, he's with us in the kindergarten level. It's just amazing what they're capable of and we underestimate what they're capable of because um, we like put them in the box of when they're five, they're in kindergarten. But a three-year-old can do kindergarten level stuff, like they can, if you work with them early, you know? So it's just really neat. So those of you who have considered um, Hooked on Phonics, just take it from me, it's awesome. I would definitely check if you can find it for sale though on eBay or Craigslist um, instead of directly buying from the company because it's like 60 bucks I think a pack and I bought it off a friend for 30 bucks a pack so I got two full lessons for 60 instead of one lesson for 60. Um, so I wanted to throw that out there for you and then just, I don't know, just busy morning. We've got the library this morning. It's the summer reading program so we're going to go and turn in all the reading times that we've been doing each day and then the kids get prizes for that. And then um, we're going to go to this little park that is like a splash park. Uh, it's really fun. We went two years ago, then they vandalized it because they totally built it in the wrong part of town. But um, apparently it's fixed and up and running again. So we've got several friends going today. We're going to go join them in the fun water fun. <laughs> and um, then I'm going to go cut my hair. And I mean cut my hair. I've only been on Juice Plus for four months and it's grown about four and a half inches. It is driving me psychotic. So I'm gonna chop it off and see how how short it would be if I did Locks of Love. Um, if it's too short for Locks of Love, I'll probably do the other one, the Pantene one that's just needs to be eight inches. Uh, that way it won't have to go too short, but I don't know. I wanna go like at least that short. So that's a lot. So I'm gonna do that today and I'm so looking forward to it just to get this hair off me. <laughs> but I want to do something different and I always feel this way. I always want to do something different but I have such straight, straight, straight hair that kind of limited. Um, usually end up with just layers in the front because um, my hair doesn't have much volume to it and um, it's very straight. So, and I don't like to have to work on my hair. I like to just get up and go. You know, I don't want to be blow dry my hair or anything like that. And I also like to put it up in a ponytail, so I want it to all gather. So, bangs, bangs kind of worry me because it reminds me of when I was 12. But people are getting bangs everywhere and they look so cute on them. I just, I don't know if they're for me or not. Um, I've done the side bangs a couple of times and I like them. I just you know, then they're like here always, when, even when your hair's up. So if you have any cool hair ideas, um, I'm open to suggestions. Uh, my hair is super, 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 super straight and has no volume, so just keep that in mind. And it's very heavy and thick, so the shorter I go, the thicker it gets too. So like I can't go short without them having to like thin it out like crazy for it to actually drape you know like lay down flat because if I went like this short for example which I'm not doing my husband will die but if I did that it would be like a mushroom because it would get so thick but um they would have to thin it out and then it would work but I'm not going short so shoulder length or like right past the shoulders the shortest any ideas feel free to share have a great day